Time for another camera review. This is the 4 megapixel Foscam POE Outdoor Bullet Camera. I'm sure it's a great camera, but the real reason for doing this is because Foscam has a new skill for she who shall not be named that makes it so you can watch your cameras on your Echo Show. But I'm also going to use this as a good excuse to test out the Home Assistant cast function. Here we go. I have reviewed a similar camera to this that was the Wi-Fi version. This looks very much the same without the antenna. I like the way they do their SD cards. They've got a variety of connections here. Uh, this is PoE, but you can also connect it to a 12 volt power supply, which they do include with the camera. That's nice. Okay, I expect the setup process to be pretty simple. Plug it in. Listen to it click. Going just as I planned. More lights, more clickies. Now in the Foscam app on my phone, we'll hit the plus. We'll add an IP camera, scan the QR code on the bottom. And wait. Oh, that registered very quickly. Thank you. That's awesome. We'll call this one very originally 4MP POE. <laughs> camera login. This is important because we need this camera login for Blue Iris or something else. Whatever else you use. Firmware update. You bet. Clickety click. Restarting. Great. Firmware is up to date. All right, and there it is. And it thinks it's dark. It thinks it's night mode, which is kind of funny. Oh, there it goes. Now it's adjusted. All right, not bad. Okay, it's got a little bit of a fisheye to it. That's probably good for being outdoors and such. That was easy. New firmware for upgrade. Oh, looks like there's another new firmware for upgrade. Says the update is complete again. <laughs> All right, updated the firmware a couple times now. We've got our image. If we go to settings, there's no more firmware updates to do. And now we've got something under advanced settings that's called remote control skill beta. And it says work with her. Enable this feature. Your camera can easily remote control by echo with voice. We'll give this one a name. What should we call it? Need a clever name. Skynet? I'll go down to our Echo Show and see if I can get the camera image to show up there. Can it be that easy? Show me Skynet. Okay. And there it is. Wow. Okay. That is pretty sweet. That's pretty easy. I like it. Good work. That was pretty easy and it worked pretty well. It did take a few seconds to load up the image, but I think that's an Echo Show problem. It's just not a very fast machine. I got pretty excited about how well it worked, so I updated the firmware on my other Foscam cameras to try it out. And it worked great! So it's not just the brand new cameras that it works on. Not every older Foscam camera can use this new she who shall not be named skill. But here's a list of the ones that do. Seems like most of them. Hopefully you can find yours on there. Now it's time to segue into the Home Assistant cast component which is brand new as a version 0.97 of Home Assistant. Let's check it out. To get started, you got to go to cast.homeassistant.io. Then you can put your Home Assistant URL in this box here. So I'll paste in here my Nabucasa address and then click Authorize. Log in. Stay logged in. Yes. Pick a view. I guess I'll pick my office view. And there it is. Excellent. Very responsive. Pop the fan right on. All right. I can dig it. 
seems to me that a good idea here would be to make a Lovelace view that is specific to your Google Home. And it only shows you one view. And I guess I can change views here. Yeah, so I can change views over here pretty quickly too. Nice. Floor plan. Yeah, even that. Kind of small, but shows up. Okay. Very nice. Cameras. Very nice. Well, I learned how to change the colors on the casted view thanks to phonic links. You got to do it in Lovelace. If I go to this list and change the theme here, let's change it to this one. Great. I've been setting my themes here in the uh, user theme box, but I guess for casting purposes, I'm going to have to set some in Lovelace. No problem. No big deal. Probably another good reason to set a specific view just for casting, because then I don't have to mess up the theme that I like on my desktop version. Well, that's it. The new Foscam POE outdoor bullet camera, but more importantly, the new Amazon Echo Skill that'll let you get your Foscam camera images on your Amazon Echo Show. And a little bit about how to get your Home Assistant display on your Google Cast device. That's all for now. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time, adios. If you need help or want to chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can use my special product links in the video description or head over to Patreon or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.